Hi, I'm Tiffany Jackson at LA Trade Tech College and I'm going to demonstrate how to sew a fly front zipper. This is something you're going to find on a pair of pants or jeans or anything with a fly front. could be a skirt. I have some pre-cut muslin. This is going to act as if it's the garment. Then I have a 7 inch zipper. Um, I have a fly facing. This is a piece of muslin and it has interfacing on one side. It's already been fused. And then I have another piece. This is called the fly shield. This is actually the shield that protects the zipper from your skin. So what I did first is I went ahead and I overlocked the actual garment. This is where the zipper is going to be sewn. And then I overlocked the edge of the facing. And then this piece right here it's only fused on one side. So I put this face to face and it's, you can still see a little bit of the black outline. It makes it easier for you to see the fusible because it's white. We are going to put it face to face and then overlock this edge. Once that edge is overlocked, it looks like this. Okay. So now once that's overlocked, we're going to turn this so that the fusing ends up inside. We're going to press it and then we're going to overlock this edge so that it's all clean. And again, this piece is the shield. So first thing I'm going to do is go to the iron, press it, and then overlock this edge. Here at the iron, I'm going to turn this, like I said, so that the interfacing is inside. And you can stick um, a screwdriver or something in there to give you a nice corner. I'm going to press this so that the edges meet. I'm going to just get a little crease right here. And then I'm going to go to the overlock machine and I'm basically going to be overlocking this edge. Okay, once we have all the pieces, the shield is prepared, the fly is prepared, and this area would be the center front of maybe a pant that's already prepared. We're going to be joining the fly facing to the front. Now, typically you're going to be working with half inch seam allowance. I'm going to mark this with the ruler in an ink pen so that you can see half inch seam allowance. To join these though, we are going to be doing three eighths. We're going to purposely offset this. So we're going to be stitching down three eighths to our notch. Our notch is here. Again, I'm marking it in red, but at home you would have these pre-clipped, but I don't think that you can see that as well. So I'm going to stitch this single needle three eighths of an inch. Now, if I'm sewing this way, this is blind. I can't see any of the guides for my seam allowance. So it's okay to turn the work this way and to start from the notch. So 3 8 is in between a quarter and a half. So I'm lining up my work so that the edge is between a quarter and a half. And I'm going to stitch. Making sure that I back stitch right here at the notch. And I'm going to continue all the way up. So when I get to the top, I shouldn't be sewing on top of the notch because the notch is at a half inch and I'm sewing at three eighths. Once that's done, I'm going to press. I'm going to be pressing the seam allowance toward my facing like this and I'm going to do what's called an understitch. That means I'm going to be stitching very close to the seam and what that does is it helps the facing to stay underneath. So I'm going to go to the iron, I'm going to press, and then I'm going to come back and do an understitch.